Mom, Dad, Mom, 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 oh my God, oh my God. I just woke up from a horrible nightmare. I swear to God, if I have to go one more year where you blue pizza gets more views than me, I'm gonna kill myself! <laughs> and I would gladly lose my whole channel just to whoop your fat hairy titties walk by. Please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell my mom. Stafford's got a cannon. I could make this throw. I'm making it! We really clapped it! Papa Meeks! Papa Meeks, please! Papa Meeks! Dude, he's not there! He's not there! Come fuck it up! Difficulties of today and tomorrow! Suck my toes dry. I want you to milk my toes. March 21st, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now, I have, oh, I've been waiting so long to bring you guys a series. I'm so excited. A series was born. That series was the Wheel of Mud! Wheel of Mud. 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 Season one, episode number one. Fast forward to today, almost eight years later, and we've crafted, perfected, and molded the most beautiful Madden series on the internet. Gentlemen, welcome to the Wheel of Mud. This is a weird year. For the first time ever, I've waited a few weeks to drop Wheel of Mud. That is, of course, because of College Football 25. An anomaly game like that requires anomaly circumstances. But don't worry, gentlemen. We're here. Let me get you caught up to speed. This is the Wheel of Mutt. In Madden Ultimate Team, you start with a base silver 68 overall lineup. That's our team. And our end goal is winning the head-to-head -head Super Bowl. For each game we play, we'll spin the wheel three times. That'll determine the players we can add to this team. If I win that following game, I keep the players and move on. If I lose, I reset the team to where it was prior. Now, of course, there's a catch. In head-to-head, -head, you need five wins to make the playoffs. But if you get three losses before those five wins, you get booted and you've got to restart. Now to give us a little head start, we do get three prestige players. Prestige players are always locked into the lineup and I'm always entitled the best version possible. So our very first prestige player of Madden 25 is C.D. Lamb. I'm going to be honest, I have wanted to prestige C.D. Lamb for the last two years straight and I never quite pulled the trigger on it. Last season, I was between Jamar Chase and CeeDee Lamb. I went with Jamar. This time, I honestly think CeeDee Lamb is such a safe option. Even if he doesn't have, like, the most nuclear season, this dude is guaranteed another card. So if a month from now, EA drops a 90 overall CeeDee Lamb, we instantly get him on our team. His core elite is honestly not that good, so I'm hoping we get an upgrade for him pretty soon. But for now, I'm really excited to have CeeDee Lamb. Our second prestige player is on the defensive side of the ball. Drum roll please. It's Aiden Hutchinson. Obviously, I'm a little biased, right? Like, you know I had to go out and get a Detroit Lion. It wasn't an easy decision, though. I feel like Amon Ra St. Brown would have been a great option. Aiden Hutchinson, obviously. Terry and Arnold. We've kind of got a squad. Now, yes, this is a biased pick, but it's kind of crazy to record Wheel of Butt this late. Aiden Hutchinson just had four and a half sacks against Tampa Bay. Granted, we lost that game. It's kind of embarrassing. But Aiden Hutchinson is low-key a frontrunner for Defensive Player of the Year right now. I think this is an incredible prestige. Not to mention, the thing about Aiden Hutchinson is he's so tall. It makes him like extra OP in Madden for swatting down balls and just being an absolute menace because he's six foot six. In fact, I think last year they had him listed at six foot seven. Regardless, a 77 speed, six foot six edge rusher. Super excited for Aiden Hutchinson. And all that leaves is our third and final prestige player. I always love to throw a curveball with this one. I went with Houston Texans, Derek Stingley Jr. Let me know how you guys feel about this one. Number one, I think the Texans are going to have a really good season. Number two, I think Derek Stingley Jr. is an incredible player. Now, I could have gone really safe here on this prestige. I could have gone Sauce Gardner. I could have gone Jalen Ramsey. I could have gone Patrick Sertan. I think all those guys are probably guaranteed a card, but I want to have some fun with this one. Not to mention, Derek Stingley's season is off to a hot start, and he's already got an 87 overall limited, so I also was guaranteeing that we had a crazy good card early on this season. 87 speed, 87 Excel, six foot 190. He's going to
gonna clamp up everybody this early in the game. I'm gonna give him the X-Factor pick artist. He also automatically has the ability chuck out. Zone chucks fatigue the receiver. Derek Stingley Jr. This is the one I'm worried about. I think Aiden Hutchinson, CeeDee Lamb are absolutely guaranteed new cards. We're gonna have to see on Derek Stingley. Regardless, gentlemen, that is our starting lineup for a 70 overall. We have silvers everywhere. Now, the final thing I usually do at the start of a new season is spin the team wheel to determine my team for the season and choose a team captain. But for season one, I'm taking my Detroit Lions. I'm taking my home team. I'm honestly nervous that I would never land on the Detroit Lions on the wheel, and that makes me really sad. So for season one, I'm pulling rank. Dan Campbell's our head coach. We'll be at Ford Field. We'll have Lions home and away unis and Lions offensive and defensive playbook. That's always the most important part of the team wheel is determining what playbooks you're going to use for the whole season. We also get to choose one of any player in the game on the Detroit Lions since that's our team. And there are a ton of good options, but I'm going to add some firepower to this offense. I'm going to go with the jersey I'm wearing right now. Amon St. Brown has a game time 87 overall. Not sure how I feel about this card art. In fact, it looks like shit. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. I got Amon St. Brown on the team. He gets Energizer. Really interesting ability to have this early. And it looks like this year EA is continuing the trend of making abilities X-Factors, if that makes sense. Like, Slotomatic has always been an ability, but now it's an X-Factor. I don't really understand why. Whatever. I'm gonna give him mid in Elite for one AP. And now the team is officially ready for first episode. So, CD Lamb, Amon St. Brown, Aiden Hutchinson, and Derek Stingley are locked in. Every Every episode, these three wheel spins we're about to spin are all on the line for this very first game of Wheel of Mutt Madden 25. This is always the most exciting, the very first spin of Madden 25 Wheel of Mutt. It's gonna be 75k at one player and absolutely take that. I'll take the pack a punch back too. This is such a good spin right now. Now the way this works is I can open one pack and I can pack a punch one player in the pack. Meaning if I get 79 overall Randy Moss, I could pack a punch that to the best version possible of Randy Moss. Shit, dude, I don't know if any of you guys know pack a punch anymore. Do they still do that shit in COD Zombies? I don't know. We're opening this Legends pack, our very first. Actually an insanely good option. Charles Haley has an 87. So this could be our player already. Oh, I have no linebackers either. Charles Haley may be the move here. I kind of do need a halfback to the Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne has an 87. I've got two wide receivers. I can't go Reggie Wayne. Our third and final legend is Charles Haley again. I think the decision's been made for us. Unless we go crazy right here. Something tells me Shaq Lawson does not have a better card. Not bad at all. We're gonna get a really good linebacker. Dude, the scariest thing right now though is I have no quarterback, no halfback. I don't know that I could enter a game with neither of those and actually walk out winning. 87 Charles Haley. 87 speed, six foot five. Holy shit. He's an insane pass rusher, but his change of direction is also 80, so I could actually user him. I think we have no choice but to user him right now because we have no linebackers at all. But I think down the line, it'd be a lot better if we could just edge rush him. An amazing start, but dude, I gotta get a quarterback or a halfback on this next spin. I cannot be rocking no quarterback halfback. This could work. Oh, actually, no, I think it does. I'm trying to remember all the AKA cards. There's gotta be at least one AKA halfback or quarterback. Tyree Kill. There's Darrell Revis. Bonnie Stanley. Dur oh, <laughs> CJ2K. Oh my God, wait a minute. We're gonna have CJ2K on both Wheel of Cut and Wheel of Mutt. Also, it looks like there's two of these. This one has 87 speed, 86 excel. And then this one has the exact same stats. It just looks cooler. I think it's literally the exact same thing. It looks cooler though. I'm taking the one that looks cooler. Why? God, we just had a full wheel of college ultimate team season with East Carolina, CJ2K. Now we have Tennessee Titans, CJ2K. That's wild. It can get an ability. Oh, and there's AKA abilities. What the hell is this? I've never seen this ability in my whole life. AKA Steamroller? More resistant tackles while moving at high speed. Yeah, that sounds like something that CJ2K would do. Wait, this is hilarious. I am totally running AKA Steamroller. I've never seen this in my life. It's a brand new ability. Gentlemen, I'm actually really nervous. We do have a linebacker and a halfback. We have so many silvers. I think I need... Oh my God, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh my God, it's 
a Legends day, baby! Dude, we got Charles Haley, we got Chris Johnson, and now we get three Legends packs. This is absolutely gonna save us. Am I gonna be walking into this game with a silver quarterback? Marshall Falk, that is a bummer to get him now. Sean Taylor, Charles Haley, gotta go Sean Taylor. That's huge, he'll be in the sky. We get Robbie Chosen. So we've got another wide receiver now, a backup halfback, and a free safety. I honestly don't think there's a Legends quarterback in the game. I think there's a limited Michael Vick, but he doesn't have any cards that I can pull right now. So I think we're actually clapped here. Oh, we get a better version of Marshall Falk. I low-key might put Marshall Falk at wide receiver three then. We get a 70 overall D tackle. Dude, if I, I'm actually gonna walk into this game with a silver quarterback, aren't I? I cannot tell you the last time I played a game with a silver quarterback. Okay, so at wide receiver three, I'm putting Marshall Falk. He actually will probably be a really solid wide receiver three. So first things first, my wide receivers and halfback are actually super good. I just, I'm literally starting Spencer Radler. I don't have a choice. I'm starting Spencer Radler with no offensive line. At middle linebacker, I gotta put 87 Charles Haley. And then backup middle linebacker, I'll put Christian Roseboom. At free safety, we can put Sean Taylor. That's honest. That's honestly like a huge upgrade. We really, really needed that. And then I also got a D tackle, which is a very marginal upgrade, but gotta use it. This is gonna be a super difficult game, but if we can squeak out a win, Spencer Radler, I will laugh my ass off. All right, Aiden Hutchinson, Derek Stingley, Sean Taylor, and Charles Haley gotta anchor the defense. While CJ 2K, Marshall Falk, CD Lamb, and Amonra St. Brown will be receiving handoffs and passes from Spencer Rattler. Ah! The final thing before our very first game, the challenge wheel. Completing this challenge. Oh my God, I love Octopus. What an awesome way to kick off the season. Octopus is like my favorite. All right, completing the challenge gives me one of two things. I either get a pack from the store or I can salvage one player if I lose. So right now on the line is CJ2K, Charles Haley, and all those miscellaneous legends from that final wheel spin. So I just got to see if I can complete the challenge. The octopus is when you score eight points with one player, meaning the same player who scores the touchdown must also score the two point conversion. The most realistic scenario for this is CJ2K running the ball in the end zone and then also running in the two point conversion. But there's a lot of ways you can do it. Now, those of you who've been watching Wheel of Mud for a long time will remember that when you kick the ball off with an all silver lineup, it is not fun because every single person out there on my return team is a silver. One of the scariest things at the start of a Wheel of Mud season is stopping kick return touchdowns. And honest to God, that is a hell of a return team right there. That's a great start. Charles Haley, you have a lot of pressure on you, brother. And I don't think I saw his top three. But you know what? If he keeps running the ball, we've got a chance. CJ Stroud looking to pass here. It doesn't look like much is open. And he severely overthrows it. Frankly, Derek Singley was sitting on that. We would have been just fine. And the Panthers are going to punt the football. The opening drive of Wheel of Mutt Madden 25 is a punt. I love to see it. It is 68 overall silver Sam Laporta. My punt returner. Holy shit. What's going on here? CJ2K's got his X Factor. I gotta see this. I have never seen this before. Steamroller. He gets four plays with Steamroller. Let's hand this ball off. Cut it up the middle. Get behind the block. CJ! Don't get caught, CJ! CJ2K! My first play of Madden 25 is a touchdown. Oh my God, CJ2K. His user guessed the wrong gap. We got great downfield blocking by our wide receivers. And CJ2K is out right now. Hello? I've got an octopus to get, gentlemen. You can't just take my guy out. Now, we do have a silver O-line. But hopefully, this Sam Laporta motion will throw his user off. And we should have a clean lane. Motion, go left, go left, go left. Go follow Laporta. Follow him. Follow him. Oh, he didn't follow shit, but CJ2K still got a chance. He's more of a speed guy, not a power guy. No octopus right there, but it is six to zero. So he's got CJ Stroud with AJ Dillon in the backfield. He's gonna go play action here. He's got the middle if he wants it. Oh, these are silver safeties. Yeah, that's Steph Diggs. Dude, those silver safeties are just so slow at reacting. That's, that's honestly the main problem. Probably should go to that. Probably not gonna. I should. Here's Derek Stingley! Is that Taysom Hill? Taysom Hill just got body. Time to retire, old man! I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send Charles Haley on a blitz right up. Oh! Well, you know what? It was good timing, but I still didn't get anything done with it. First and ten, this feels like another run to me. Oh, it sure is. We got bodies on it this time. Charles Haley in the backfield. All right, second and nine. We know this is a pass. Can I make a play with Charles Haley? Oh, he's gonna juke! Good hit! Good hit! Dude, we're laying the ball, Kira. I'm about to blitz. I'm gonna get on AJ Dillon and I'm blitzing. Okay, I'm on AJ Dillon right now. No! That was.
was too aggressive. These silvers can't guard anyone in man coverage. I cannot man blitz. I pretty much have to run zone coverage until we get this team better. And since I went for two, didn't get it, he's got the lead. Now, gentlemen, I know I'm throwing so much at you right now, but don't forget that the 40 bomb is always in play. If I ever score 40 points or more in a game, we get to open the $1,000 Panini Immaculate box, add one player to the team, and give away all the cards. Now, are we gonna be able to do it? with this absolute dog water team when Spencer Rattler can't throw a two yard motherfucking check down? Probably not. Second and 10, how do you miss that? And where is CJ2K? At least we have good wide receivers. I love how it tells me to throw this, except that was the throw he missed last time. Im impressive amount of yards on that, though. Can we be clear? Honestly, we have to get so creative with this playbook. Okay, he's back in. Oh, it's probably one of those little specialist halfback little substitution bullshits, isn't it? I guarantee that's what it is. First and 10, CJ2K is back in. And damn, he's gonna get lit up. Keep the game simple, keep the game simple. We're gonna go halfback slip screen. He does not see it, and that's a good pass from Rattler. Honestly, a good pass. Third and two, maybe I could've got to the outside on that, but I will take it. Look at how far off they are. CD Lamb's gonna be wide open. He is? Rattler makes the pass! Huge conversion. We also get the ball a half. I just had to put up points here. I gotta go back to slip screen. Rattler really cannot make many throws other than this. Although it would be helpful if you guys would fucking block the only damn person out there. I mean, he ran a man blitz. That's the perfect time to run that. I think CJ2K is a touchdown. Oh my God. Oh my God, Rattler! Okay, okay. That's a decent fucking ball. It's catchable. Let's go, Spence. Dude, if I win with Spencer Rattler, dude, you gotta hang up the cleats. It's GG's. First and goal. Another handoff, CJ2K. He's clear on the left side, he's too damn fast! I honestly scored too quick. CJ2K's about to drop a monster fantasy game and it's it's octopus season, I gotta go for it again. I gotta get this challenge. I think we just go with an out route. Got him. Can Spencer Rattler make the throw? Barely! Literally every single throw has not been caught in stride, but that is a challenge wheel complete. Completing the challenge wheel is so big because now even if I lose this game, I'll get to save one really good piece. The best case scenario is we can win and keep everybody. 14 to seven. Charles Haley in coverage. He's got nothing. Oh my God, you still threw that. You're a psycho. Oh, I'm sitting on that ball and he still threw it. Second and eight, clock's ticking. 40 seconds. Throws the check down. Puka Nakua drops it? I don't know what happened there. That's a drop out of Puka Nakua bringing up a third and eight. Clock stopped. He's gonna check it down to AJ Dillon. I got a lot of silvers over there. He is not in the good territory for this. Fourth and five. A lot of routes on the right side. I just gotta cover with Charles Haley. Put this game away. Oh, you got big balls. Giant hit, he caught it! De is that Deontay Johnson? Oh my god, I cannot believe he caught that football. That's a hell of a catch. Now we really gotta hold him. Now I'm extra nervous. That's not open. That's not open at- What the fuck are you smoking? Oh, you don't get to moss me twice in a row? Holy shit, that was a horrible ball. First and 10. Please don't do it again. Yes, sir! Derek Stingley! He's got it! That's why we prestige them! Derek Stingley with a monster break on the football. I've got eight seconds. No, right? I shouldn't even be trying this, right? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, that, it's, it's actually a touchdown. Spencer Rattler just can't throw it. Oh, you know what I just noticed? You know what I literally just right now noticed? You gotta keep going! You gotta! Oh my god! DJ 2K! He's looking like Alvin Kamara! This dude has three touchdowns in the first half! How did I just house that? Did he guess pass? Oh my god, this game, this game's over. I'm going for two again anyway. Bro. Two point conversion, Spencer Radler Masterclass. Dude has no clue how to cover CJ2K. Also, um, dude, I was totally thinking of saying something and I just completely lost it. I have no idea what I was saying. Let's go for the 40 bomb. Season opener 40 bomb would be dummy lit. Oh my God. You know what I think happened? I think EA matched me up with kind of a fair team. This team's definitely a little better than mine, but I don't think it's by much. All right, I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious what the game plan is. For giving the ball to CJ2K, he has 162 yards and three touchdowns. I want to get Amonra and company involved. I just, can I? 
Oh, Amon Ra on the out route is open. Spencer Radler, honestly, a good ball. How are the fake punts looking, gentlemen? I'm running fake punt off tackle. Fourth and inches, fake punt, off tackle. Go! We got it! Let's go! Amon Ra. Amon Ra, toe tap, Spencer Rattler dot city. Is this the quarterback of the future? Is this our franchise QB? Question mark, exclamation point, Spencer Rattler, another first down. Spencer Rattler, another day, another dot. He was born to play football. Motion, play action, X, zig, flood. You ain't never seen a bullshit ass play like this. But we're gonna find a way to make it work. First and 10, what the hell am I running? What is this shit? Oh, the play action got him thinking. Oh, dude, tell me why the tight end was wide open too. Maybe that play's actually nasty. All right, double drags. Oh, uh, we got to go CJ2K here. Yoink. Oh, the juke sucks. Oh my God, that was so slow. I think this is zone. I can hit CD Lamb in this little, little seam here, but Spencer's got to make the throw. Spencer, it's a run. Come in, Spencer. Oh my God, and he throws a dog. Spencer, I couldn't legitimately kiss you on the lips. Why is he hitting such good balls? This is a, this is a literally 40 bomb of Spencer Rattler, Spencer Rattler, Spencer mother fucking Rattler. I'm so embarrassed that I have to post this video now. Can I just, can I just explain what I was thinking? I was gonna be a dickhead and I was gonna stop and then he was gonna run right past me and then I was gonna run behind him and it was gonna be super funny, except he didn't do that at all. He just tackled me and now I look really stupid. First and 10, there's play action from CJ Stroud, finds Mo Ali Cox, takes a huge hit. He's in no huddle, he doesn't really have a choice, right? I'm gonna go with the blitz here. Oh, I'm gonna drop that, wow. First and 10, Charles Haley. Charles Haley! You caught that? Dude, Puka. Oh my goodness. Ever since that Puka Nakua drop, bro, dude just turned into Larry Fitzgerald. I'm using Derek Stingley, because I'm like that. One into Taysom Hill. We want bigger hits than that, gentlemen. My only concern is the clock. I want this 40 bomb. I want a season opener 40 bomb. How gnarly would that be? Oh, come downhill! Yeah, baby! Similar play. Similar play, I'm sending a blitz, because it's play action. Oh, the dump off pass picked up by Aiden Hutchinson. He read that shit like a book. Fourth and three, he's passing. He's 100% passing here on fourth and three. Just play underneath, play close. He wants some rinky dink bullshit pass. Fuck! I can't cover both. I had to pick and I picked wrong. It was a it was a 50-50, you gotta understand. Charles Haley looking to make one more big, big stop. Oh! Dude, it's so funny in this game. If you run no huddle, it literally chews the clock. It's it's hilariously broken. He's trying to run, he's trying to run shoe clock right now, but watch how much clock this takes off. There's a minute 30. He's gonna run no huddle. Oh, actually, he figured it out. He figured out how broken no huddle is. It's literally faster to not run no huddle. Congratulations, EA. You still fucking suck at your job. Stroud! Down! Fourth and inches! He just ran no huddle and lost 15 seconds. He used the entire clock. Running no huddle. But um, yeah, if you haven't played Madden 25, anytime you click no huddle, it will automatically burn 12 seconds and then another three, four for you to set up for the ball. Ironically, if you just don't do that and just select a play, it'll automatically put your entire team on the line and you'll lose like, I don't know, two seconds, which is so hilariously backwards, but you know how it is, boys. 14 to 28 onside kick. Amon Ra St. Brown right on top of it. Wait a minute, 40 bomb. 40 bomb. Return the outside kick. I've never done this before. Oh my God. It's th Wait, now I got onside kick. How do I turn this into 40? Okay, well we gotta hit this first. 35 to 14. I gotta let him score. I'm running field goal block. I need to go score a touchdown. Bet you I can lurk him anyway. I'm gonna go lurk him on the left side. Oh my God, you're not gonna score. Can we, can we stop him? doing what are you doing stop it what are you doing i need to score my ball pick six I technically didn't even cheese it. I actually just 99 yard pick sixed him. CeeDee Lamb. 
Oh, it was a nice catch, though. Dude, and he broke a tackle. He fucking broke a tackle for that, too. I didn't even return that well. Like, he had an, he had the opportunity to tackle me. Oh, my God. 40 bomb with a 72 overall team. Might be the craziest achievement I've ever done in Wheel of Mutt. Straight up, this season opener... Maybe the most impressive Wheel of Mud episode in in eight years. I couldn't, I can't drop a 40 down half the time with the God Squad. Also, gigantic shout out to my first ever opponent for not quitting, dude. I love you. All right, so Spencer Rattler, better QBR than CJ Stroud, number one. 11 for 15, 132, and a touchdown. CJ 2K, 160 yards on six attempts. That's literally disgusting. 26.5 average, three touchdowns, two broken tackles. Receiving, CJ 2K had four for 48. Amon Ra had four for 34. CD had two for 40 and a touchdown. And defensively, no sacks in the entire game. Two interceptions for Derek Stingley, 103 return yards, and most importantly, the 40 bomb pick six. Then I user lurked. I user locked on to Derek Stingley for the final play of the game. Two house call that. Yeah, that was absolutely disgusting. Not to mention, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Not to mention a challenge wheel complete. We don't need to salvage a player because we won the game and we won the game by a lot. So one of any pack in the store probably the best pack is the game time fantasy i've got a 20 percent chance at an 84 overall or better frankly it doesn't actually matter because no matter what i get in this it's going to be an upgrade there are so many silvers on this lineup this has to be better for first player that's an upgrade at strong safety oh wait but i get two options second option is i think i'd rather have eric murray round two here's one of our game time players Ray Ray McLeod. I have good wide receivers. Outside linebacker, pass coverage. That is good. Oren Burtz, Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know shit about this guy, but cool. Final round, Jarrett Stidham. That's a quarterback. I mean, he's as much a quarterback as Spencer Rattler is. Shit, he's actually even better. Jarrett Stidham! Damn, I'm sorry, boys. We we did think. We thought for a second there was gonna be Spencer Rattler season, right? No. That was fucking horrifying. He literally, he legitimately poorly threw the ball almost every catch. But I will say, they were all catchable. So shout out to Spencer Rattler for getting us through game one. Jared Stidham, it's your turn. And our strong safety right now is Patrick McMorris. He'll get replaced with Eric Murray. Eric Murray is plus three speed on him, plus six excel. Honestly, when the players are this dog shit, that's the most important attribute. That takes us up to a 75 overall with a win under our belts. All right, gentlemen, 75 overall to start out the season. C.D. Lamb, Aiden Hunt. Hutchinson and Derek Stingley Jr. are the prestigious for Madden 25. It's Detroit Lions season and Amon Ra St. Brown is our team captain. And we just locked in CJ2K, Charles Haley, and a plethora of other role players on this squad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. What a fucking season opener. And on the start of next episode, I'll be opening a Panini Immaculate, which is also insane because on the start of the Wheel of Cut season opener, I'll be doing the exact same thing. Oh, it's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.